people, when I separated the fight between Abu Nema and Michael yesterday, little did I know that Abu Nema would come back and to kill his brother Michael. This is terrible. For the interest of those who did not come early enough, I now ask Ubaka to narrate what happened this morning. My people, we were in the farm today when I suddenly had a gunshot and a shout. I ran towards the direction only to behold Obun Nehme with his gun with which he killed his brother. Okay. <laughs> I started shouting and people gathered. God respond. Obun Nehme said the truth. <laughs> 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 I did not care. I also had the ghost shot at the south. I rushed to the direction. Only to find out that it's my brother, my head. How could I have killed my brother? I did not do it. My good people of Omoza, we should not take the laws into our hands, especially in a case as dicey as this one, where witnesses saw the shocking and heart-rending brutality based on this fact. We don't want to follow our tradition. The law enforcement agents have already been alerted. Our interest is that justice must be yes. Oh, very good. Where they are? Yes. Where they are? Gunmen. Please, this way. This way. You are welcome. This is the young man. He says he's not guilty. Please take him away and do all you can to get the truth from him. Hey, please now, please now. Young man, you're under arrest. Copra. Copra. Hey. No, just Justice. Please, 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 That little girl, oh, she was gracious. Her movement, the hip rigging, and all that. You are marvelous, highness. marvelous. You are highness. <laughs> are you sure you are not trying to take another wife? <laughs> no, 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 no. There's nothing like that now. There's nothing like that. But you see, I must admire nature. Mm. I must give honor to whom honor is due. You know what impressed me most? No. In the history of our town, this is the first time we had foreigners coming to watch and witness what was happening in that culture. Okay, I agree. That is what is called cultural. Yeah. Ah, officer, yeah, how are you? Fine, sir. Oh, welcome. Yeah. Welcome. Okay. How far? Well, um, Your Highness, we've come to report to you that after all our investigation, torture, and interviews, we think that the young man is innocent. How? How? How can you say the young man is innocent when there were witnesses there? How? How? Tell me. Tell me how. How? Your Highness. Yes. Remember, the witnesses told us that they did not see the suspect. Yes. Pointing at the victim. Uh huh. That they saw him with his gun on the ground while he was lifting up the victim. So. Excuse me. <laughs> you see, you your Highness. Yes. This is the autopsy report. Autopsy report? Yes, Your Highness. All right. Good. Good to yourself. Look at this. <laughs> this is strange. Well, Your Highness, 
as you can see he was shot dead with a pistol and not with a double barrel gun and we have ransacked the entire family compound but we could not find any pistol <laughs> Uh, officer, are you no longer a policeman? <laughs> you don't have to carry this report, this investigation. You don't have to search the compound alone. Try some other places. You know, a little more serious search will bring something. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. We base our judgment on facts. Witnesses, let's beat. I know. All right, all right. Even at that, I believe that young man is only trying to be smart, yeah. very smart. My cabinet believes that he killed his brother to settle scores. Exactly. You understand what I'm saying? Remember, they fought a day before the victim was shot dead. Exactly. You see? Exactly. In that case, Your Highness, what is your stand in this regard? My stand, yes, sir. Uh, 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 uh. Simple justice, mm -hmm. justice. That's it. A little more investigation with a little more torture, get the truth out of him. In that case, we we'll continue to detain him. Ah, uh, detaining him is not as important as using other strategies That's to it. force the truth out of That's him. That's it. So, I don't know. But you see where I'm going to? Yes. There's a tango. You are in order, you are Your Highness. They should apply okay. first. Your Highness, we have heard you. Thank we you. have to be on our way. Thank you. Thank you, eh? Sorry. This is a problem. This is a problem. Mama, you don't have to do anything now. Mama, you're crying again. Mama, it's okay. You know you're sick. Mama, it's okay, eh? Do you want my daughter? Yes, Mama. What do you want me to do? I can't stop crying over the death of my son. Mama, it is okay. Stop crying. There is no amount of tears that will bring back Brother Michael to life. Mama, you know. So wipe your tears, oh? It's okay. Who's go? What a problem. What a problem. No matter what's happened, I can't afford to lose my two sons. I cannot. Mama, you will not lose them. Mama, I understand what you're saying. But you will starve yourself to death to save someone else. Mama, please eat your food so you sleep well this night. Oh? Mama, please, eh? Yeah? Sleep this soup. It's here. Mama, please. Mama, please. Please. Mama, be cool. Mama, be cool. That is my mama. Mama, did I give you meat? John, sit down. John, what I'm observing in this shop is not impressive at all. You have to put in more effort and concentrate on this business, otherwise you'll make nothing out of it. But I'm trying all I can. You know I'm not a lazy type. I'm trying my best. But can't you see that your best is not good enough? Or are you blind? That is the problem. It 
it's as if the more effort I put in, the more disappointment I receive. I don't know. Well, I have told you what I observed. Your business is going down. You have to be very careful. I'm going back to my shop. Tessie, Tessie, wake up, it's me, it's Nelson, Tessie, Tessie, what is it? Welcome. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. How about Mama? She's fine. Really? My goodness. You look so different. Ah, thank you. I hope Mama saw you in the body. Ah, ah. <laughs> yeah, she allowed it? Yes. Hey. That's a good girl now. Yes. Welcome, eh? Thank you. Mama, it's okay. Mm -hmm. How was your journey? Fine. Yeah. What was your journey? Your brother was so fine. You know now. <laughs> Come with me. Welcome. Long well, <laughs> I promise you, you'll eat plenty of it before you go back to the village. And Mama will recognize me again. <laughs> then you add so much weight and look plumpy and fresh. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you said everybody in the village is all right, huh? Everybody's fine. Mama sends her greetings to you and Auntie Daisy. Okay. Um, Tiwa, I hope uh, Michael's death does not affect Mama or bother Mama this time around. Please, let me get some more water. Okay. It does, though. In fact, that is the main reason why I came to the city. Mama does not eat. She does not sleep well. She is so much worried about her boom name. And I said, well, I should come home and do something about his release. But Mama should understand that this is a murder case and as such there's little or nothing I can offer. Anyway, I'll see what I can do. Well, please try you. Please try. Forgive me, you forgive me, you forgive me. 
This ghost issue is becoming consistent as there's hardly any week the ghost does not appear at least two or three times. I see him in my room, I see him in my kitchen, I see him on the television, I see him everywhere, everywhere. I hope your husband is not aware of these sightings. That is the problem Lady Carl, he knows. And he has been asking a lot of questions. I nearly implicated myself on one occasion. My husband even suggested we visit a reverend father. But I'm afraid to do that. Tessie. Can you come back here tomorrow? Just about this time? Yeah. I will take you to a place. And once we get there, these ghost stories will be history. Really? Hmm? I will. Okay. I will come. Dika, 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 What is the name of the young man? His name is Michael. Michael. Mm -hmm. You killed an innocent soul. And the gods are not happy with you. If you had collected the bullet he got you, you would have been dead by now. Nevertheless, put down what you have here and let us appeal to the gods. We'll take him. Oh my God, we don't need you. Come on. Come on, this is what I'm doing. Come on, 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 my daughter, you can go and come back on the next decade. But don't forget, when coming, come with the very cloth you were putting on the day he appeared with the bullet to you. And when you come, we shall go to Obu. Obu, the great river. The river of Oziroye. Oziroye, the god of retribution. You can go. Thank you. Thank you, my. Thank you, my daughter.
Is this the clothes we were putting on that day when he appeared with the bullets? What is it? It's in this bag. Change and put it on. Stay with my star woman. The funny face of a he goat does not prevent it from being dragged to the market when the need arises. Come with me. Was you okay the God of our fathers? Was you okay the one I've got that sees all the activities of the universe? Was you okay the God of retribution? We have offered one ram in your shrine and one white cock. And she has performed all of the things as custom demands. Now here we are. Pleading that you permit us to perform once more the final cleansing in your river. Don't hide it. I don't know what for the again. I don't know about for the again. I don't know about for an alpha. I don't know about for an alpha. I don't know about for an alpha. Now from today, you are pleased, you are free. And the spirit of your late brother-in-law will never torment you or haunt you. For you have thrown the bone out. But I'm going to watch what will happen between the spirits and the dog. Now pull up this club and give it to me. Look at you! Oh! I don't know where 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 I don't I have work I want to for you. I brought him to you, sir. Who? My son, Abum Nemi. Mama, so your son is that murderer who killed his own brother? <laughs> sorry, oh. Mama, sorry. Please, can I see him? Let him eat now, please. Your son does not deserve to eat. <laughs> not to talk of food. Madam, stop 
Oh no, it's here, it's police station. <laughs> Bring the food here. Oh, Kuna. Esther. Oh, Kuna. Oh, Kuna. Oh, Supermarket. Yes, Mr. Pedro. How may I help you? Um, you see, I I noticed you going out of the supermarket, and I was overwhelmed by your dazzling beauty. So, so I I decided to come and commend it. <laughs> thank you very yes. much. Thank you. Excuse me. Miss, can we be friends? I mean, I would do anything for you. Just anything. But what it is. Thank you, pardon, Mr. Pedro. If you don't mind, I am a married woman. 
I suppose you know my husband. I'm also a staunch Catholic. A born again Christian. And a Zimian Coco for that matter. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me, Nancy. Come on, does it really matter? I mean, we could be. Mr. Pedro, whatever you call yourself. Will you leave me alone? Look at you. This is how you people go about tearing homes apart with your cheap promises. Sorry. Get out! I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry. Look at you. Stupid man. I also know you are a member of my church. Don't worry. I promise you I'm going to report you to the parish priest. Stupid, foolish he goat. No sense. You think I'm one of these cheap women you can, you, can, you, you can touch anyhow? Don't worry. I'm going to report you to my husband and he knows you very well. Foolish man. Oh, you're back? Yes. You took rather long at the supermarket. Honey, you won't believe what happened today at the supermarket. What? Can you imagine Pedro, or whatever he calls himself? He came toasting me. Irrespective of the fact that he knows that you are my husband. Did I hear you say Pedro was toasting you? <laughs> it was not just an ordinary toasting. He was blunt as to tell me he wants to sleep with me. What? Yes. Ha. You know me now. You know what I can do. I dressed him down and told him the story of his life. He will never forget me in a hurry. Imagine Pedro making advances at you. Oh. I will teach him a lesson he will never forget. Honey, please be careful with you. You know, that thing good can be. It can be dangerous. Let me get dressed first. Please just be careful with him, okay? Pedro, what is my wife telling me about you? Do you mind sitting down? Please sit down. Um, Nelson, I know you as a decent man. Look, cut that out. I want to know why you tried to seduce my wife. I didn't try to seduce her. I merely wanted to be friendly, but your wife got through You shameless liar. You call me shameless liar? And you are an impotent bastard! What did you call me? You heard me. I said you are an impotent bastard! Listen, Nelson. You are nothing but a hand husband. A wife cannot conceive because she's living with a fellow woman. How dare you? Pedro, how dare you? Listen, Nelson. If you get to re-examine yourself, maybe you could get to the circumstance already in your existence. Now get your hands off me. I said get your hands off me. Now get out of this office. I say, leave my office now. I want to talk to real man before rushing off to school to keep my kids from school. If I had a gun, your funeral would be over by now. Count yourself lucky.
Senator David has moved from his former room to room 106. Oh, really? Thanks for the information. Thank you. And one more thing, ma. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know he's a politician, so he doesn't like people knowing his room. So don't tell him you are the one that showed him his new room. Uh -huh. Service, please. Go in. Oh, look at the sound. Did it. Okay, sound. Fetty! What is this brat doing here? Excuse me. You're talking about manners? Will you answer my question before I tear this child into pieces? Answer my question! Excuse me, honey. I can't take any phone and from this woman. I'm with you, by the way. Get me to tell her. She's asking me who I am. Now tell her who I am. Alright, honey, I will listen. Please, I will listen. Jesus Christ! Chief, did I hear you call this woman, honey? Don't tell me that you have something to do with this old act. No, 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 no. And you let you let me go. You brat! Look at you! Casey. Are you not ashamed of yourself? You're late high in school! I'm surprised at your behavior. I don't even know about you with your projects! You are here! Screaming with your man who is bad enough to be your, your father! Aren't you stupid? You talk again, I'll squeeze your mouth for you! To sell it out! Will you shut up? Shut up! I thought you were decent. I never knew you were just a pig that you always want to eat from the dustbin. Sorry, ass. Stupid man. Idiot. Don't hurry me. Excuse me, don't honor me. Please, I am disappointed in you. Please try, then, to, try to understand. Understand the words. We agree that then your only girlfriend has told us you are the student, and so. It is true that we agreed. But that woman is so desperate. I don't even have a feeling for her. She's just a, 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 an intruder. And that is the more reason why I changed my room. But I don't know how the woman managed to, you know, to locate us. But please, darling. I promise you that this thing will never happen again. Please. Don't you don't don't leave me. Remember? Remember that, what? That your bad day is coming around. And so? I'll make it up to you. Darling, I promise you a trip to the United States. I promise it will not this happen again. I promise it will not happen again. Promise me. Since I got in touch with you, I can never look to another woman's face. Even when. Serious? <laughs> and you know, what? the other day I went to the bank and I saw a girl. She just looked exactly like you. Serious? And you know what happened? What? 
I told the girl around and I wanted to kiss her and suddenly she vanished. Serious? <laughs> <laughs> so, I was dreaming about you. Serious? I sleep and look at you. So, You're I such a you wonderful. <laughs> David, uh, who is he that you cannot handle him? Oh. I said, who is he? Lady Carla, I've never been so humiliated. I will so deal with him. Stop crying. I will make him pay for this. Oh, God. All right? Stop crying. Oh, God. Still my baby. I remember the things you told me the last time we were together at Rock View Hotel. Dave, I love you. Please. Whatever I say then no longer matters. Lady Kalista, your friend staged the shoe of shame in a hotel room. She fought a girl young enough to be her daughter. Tell me, Lady Kalista. You want me to compromise my position? I am a senator of the Federal Republic. It is shocking that your friend wants to mar my political career. I am true and done with the relationship. And I cannot go back on my words. Senator David, have mercy. You can't abandon her now. Can't you see you're breaking her heart? She is the one who wants to destroy my, my life. No. And so, I am ready not only to break her heart, but her head, hands and legs, if I dare see her in this office again. After all, I need fresh blood. Madam Tessy, I expected you to conduct yourself with maturity and understanding over the incident. Instead, you were a big disappointment. If you dare even call me on phone, I will expose you. And your husband will come to know about it. I didn't know it had got to this. Tessie, let us go. Can't just sit here taking notes. Please leave my office. Tessie! You want to tell my husband? I suppose you think you don't know you would have a wife. Go ahead and expose me. Look at you. 
You know why I even came to you in the first instance? Because I wanted a baby, I which you have not been able to keep me. How are we sure that you are even responsible for the ones your supposed wife has? How are we sure you have, you have them? You should be ashamed of yourself. Look at you, stupid, foolish senator. Tessie, pull yourself together now. I've been humiliated. This is an experience I would never want to forget in my life. God. <laughs> Tessie, stop this. It's not as if David is the only man in the world. Oh, lady girl. You don't know how it feels. You know how much I've sacrificed for that relationship. You know what I'm talking about. You know everything. Good. <laughs> Tessie, I understand. Look, I should take a large portion of the blame because look, look, but no one thought it would turn out like this. No. I'm sorry. I'm not angry with you. You are not to be blamed for anything, please. I'm not angry. Good. <laughs> Tessie, I, I want you to remember why we went into this thing in the first place. <laughs> remember the whole idea was for you to have a child and protect your marriage? I didn't mean for it to turn out like this. No, I understand. It's okay. I'll be alright. Fatima Hell, Mother of Grace, who pray for us, help us today. Please forgive me. I regret ever going into any relationship with another man. I promise never to cheat on my husband again. Father God, it is because I am childless. That was why I decided to play the first one. In spite of all my outings, I could not conceive. <laughs> this relationship has cost me the life of our dear Lord Michael, his father. Forgive me, most blessed Virgin Mary. Please intercede on my behalf. Forgive me. Pray for me, Mother of Grace. How was your dear, most blessed Virgin Mary? I didn't change my brother. My brother, please pray for me. Pray for me, my brother. Forgive me my sin. Pray that your son gives me a child. Oh, most blessed Virgin Mary. Intercede on my behalf, my brother. Interceded by the help my voice of the most blessed Virgin Mary. Interceded by the help, I pray you. Oh. John! Dalito! John! Ah, why are you sleeping during business hours? Are you not feeling fine? I'm okay, I'm okay. Ah. Brother, what do I do now? Since there is no customer, let me sleep. I will not be a wizard. I decide to be a poor man. John, John, why are you talking like this? Why are you talking like this? You know you're a Christian. You have no business with poverty. 
Just believe it in your heart. Chido, Chido, since I started this business, it's been like this or like that. Bad market. Do you know you're the only one that comes in here to buy my goose? Eh? Others come after pricing. How much is this one? They'll take it. How much is this one? I'll tell them. They'll just take it off. What is this? Do you know I, I, I have goose, but nobody is buying. John, I think something is wrong, go. Something is wrong somewhere. I feel the evil hand in this. I mean, I feel the same thing, sir. See, why don't we go to my pastor? Talk to him about this. I, think, I know you you do something about it. The pastor? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, now if you're ready, I'm ready. <laughs> what do I do? I see goose everything. Just it. Uh, <laughs> wahala. I don't go see customer. It's okay, it's okay. Um, do you have tubes? I need some tubes. I just, I just. Okay. Fifteen. Ah! Huh? Hey! <laughs> to go! Fifteen! Cash and carry. Hey! I'm buying on the walk. You, but I'm only one. I know the price and go. I'm paying cash. You say right? Uh, um, I get to go. Hey! Bring them, bring them out, bring them out for me. I beg. I'm one. Honey, you dozed up? Yeah. Well, here is your orange juice just the way you like it. Fresh. Mm. Let me remove all of these. It's okay. So everything must be perfect. <laughs> Here you are. Oh. You feel better? Thank you very much, Anna. Huh? You're welcome. Mm. Love you. I love you too. Now, is there anything else you want? You're spoiling me. Honey, the pleasure is mine. You have served me over the years. Now it's my turn to reciprocate, okay? Look, I don't want you to be stressed out in this condition. So I am at your service 24 <laughs> hours, 7 days a week. <laughs> So anything you want, just say it and I'll do it, okay? Okay. Now, what would you like for dinner? Mm. Fried plantain and chicken. It is done. No, 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 honey. I want to prepare it myself. Honey, please don't bother yourself. I want you to have enough rest with my baby. I don't want anything to hurt you or him. Nothing will hurt us. Still, I want to prepare it myself. Please? Okay, if you say so. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, and I love you too, Junior. <laughs> well, let me go on there. Start for the family dinner. revelation. First, the Spirit of God revealed to me that somebody was killed in your family. And the killer is a member of your family. But, another person is accused of being responsible for his death. That family member is meant to suffer. Secondly, the Spirit of the disease is angry. It is clamoring for justice because the killer has tied up the spirit 
so that it will not have any effect on her anymore. Father, we thank you and worship you and glorify your name. Mr. Halibu, to you. The frustrated spirit has decided to vent his anger on you, John, by destroying your business based on the facts that his money is also in your business. That is the message. I thank you, I wish you to be in the father. Yeah, thank you. Um, Pastor, are you saying that the killer is a woman? Yes. She is a woman. A wife to a member of her family. A wife to a member of her family. But, but, but Pastor, the only married person in my family is my eldest brother. Nelson, and, and the wife, Tessie, she's a Christian, a born-again Christian for that matter. Born-again Christian? A lot of people commit atrocity under the guise of being Christians.
Maria! Maria! Hello. Get the door. I'm sorry. I'm coming over. You won't believe it. God has answered my prayers. What prayer? I am pregnant. <laughs> Are you serious? I am three months pregnant for Nelson. Oh, you mean you got pregnant? Yes. The first month went by. The second month went by, you didn't say a word to me. After all, we went through. Oh, Tessie, no. we're not fair. It's not like that. It's not like that. You know I've never been pregnant before. I, I didn't even believe the doctor the first time he told me. So I had to repeat the test. Then it was six weeks old. I even told my husband lately, <laughs> please forgive me, I'm sorry. <laughs> you mean you're really, really pregnant? Yes, Lady Cow. Really. Hey! <laughs> he has done it for me. He has done it for me. He has done it for me. He has done for me. What the senator could not do. He has done for me. What the senator could not do. Oh my goodness, you are pregnant. Yes. I said he must be very happy. He is. The first time I told him, he jumped up so high that he nearly hit his head on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he now cuddles me like a newborn baby. He said, oh, my honey, please be careful. Don't hurt yourself and my baby. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you are back to him. Yeah. You are back to him. No, no need, no one <laughs> <laughs> this our God is, he is a forgiving God. My he is a merciful God. My goodness. He? My goodness. I think he understands that we are human. Yes. Look, this also celebration. Maria! <laughs> Bring me a lot of No, 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 Ha! I don't want anything to hurt my baby, please. Oh, that's true. <laughs> get a uh, non-alcoholic wine and then still get me the champagne. I'm going to send you out. Oh, no, 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 I'm going to drink this one all by myself. Do it, do it for me. Hey, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's a sign. Yes. That's a sign. I'm just putting a little bit for you. Yeah. Just to be Let me just bit. taste it. Yes. <laughs> and then when your own comes, you can drink to your heart's desire. Yeah. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for you. <laughs> Cheers. Now, to the newborn baby. Yes. To a wonderful life, to a fulfilled life, to being a woman, Amen. to everything. <laughs> Woo! Mm. <sighs> Maria, get my wine. Ring the wine.
somebody told you something like this about Tessie and you believed him. By the way, how did you get to know this your so-called pastor? My, my friend of mine took me to his office. A friend of yours took you to his office? John, we are members of the Catholic Church and are afraid for this us from going to other churches for whatsoever reason. Most of those pastors are fake. They are good at nothing but tearing rooms apart. If we must go to for such consultation, we have the Catholic Charismatic Movement and other praying bodies in the church. I don't want to hear this thing from you again. Anyway, thank God you have not mentioned it outside. As for your business, I got the members of the charism to pray for you. Go and find him something to eat. I want you to get ready and go back to the city first thing tomorrow morning. Am I clear? Am I clear? Go and eat your food. Congratulations. Thank you. Your wife has been delivered of a bouncing baby boy. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. I'm so happy. You're welcome. Oh, thank you, God. Can I see them now? No, you have to wait. The narcissistic can them up. No problem. I'll wait. Great. I can't wait to carry my baby. Thank you. Yeah, you see them soon. Thank you. Once again, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. My wife just had a baby. Thank you. Yes, it's our first baby. All these years. Now, there's some group of unidentified robbers. They invaded the shop last night. They, they robbed of over 15 shops around this place. This shop was among. They robbed of these shops there now. They do rob it now. Huh? Only my own. Only my own. Say no. What is happening to me? What is happening to me? Only my shop. Only my shop. What is going on? Relax yourself. Relax yourself. What is going on? 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 No problem, I know what to do. What, what do you want to do? I will end it all. Go! I know! Go! 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 Listen to me! Look at me! Look at me! Wait! Look at me! Look at me! Just take it easy with yourself! Okay, you want to go and kill yourself? Look at me! 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 I know you are not. This is God. Look at my shop. Look at my shop. Tell me that is to be relaxed. Look at my shop. Look at my shop. Look at my shop. John, you have to eat up this food. 
Because you've been, you, you've not eaten for the past three days. All you do is just sit in the house and lament over your present situation. What is wrong with you? Chidi, you don't understand. You don't understand what I'm going through. I have virtually lost everything. All I have left with are those petty ghosts you saw in my shop. And the, and the ghosts I ordered from Kutun, which are yet to arrive. I don't know what to do. I'm confused. John. Johnito. You know the source of your problems has been revealed to you. Why are you afraid? John, why are you afraid to tackle it, eh? Just, just, just this here. The problem is that I, I am not yet convinced with what your pastor said. I, I am still contemplating. For how long will you keep contemplating? Okay. Even if you're not fully convinced, why don't you try another church? There are so many gifted men of God in this town. Go to them. Even in your own Catholic church. Yeah. John, just do something. Do something before you get yourself all messed up. Look at your body. You've not, you've not been eaten. Will you kill yourself? You, you, you must finish, you must eat up this food. You must eat up this food. I'm hungry. You keep stabbing yourself, only kill yourself. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Maria Virgin, Virgin, Mama we love you, Mama we love you, Virgin, Maria Virgin, Virgin, Mama we love you. Come Holy Spirit, fill the heart of the faithful. We can go in them the fire of your love. Send for thy spirit, for they shall be created. Thou shalt reign with the face of the earth. Let us pray for Brother John. Father, in Lord, we thank you. Jesus Christ, Father. Yes. Father, we Father, worship you because of the king of kings. Father, we magnify thy holy Lord, name. Lord, Father, you are the king of kings. My Lord and my God. Father, I pray for you. Father, do you put them on the head of glory? Father, take up glory, all honor, adoration, that's part of us now forever in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, I will let you tell me that by the mention of the name Jesus, that every name will be Father, we pray that all the names all the witches, all the wizards that is talking about that Lord, they will bow by the mention of the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that you rise against all the principalities and powers of that that is talking about that job. Father, we thank you, Lord. Father, we worship you because you know you have answered our prayers. Father, thank you, Lord, all honor, all, 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 all adoration. We are pardoned to be now forever in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The name of the Father. And of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brother John, the spirit of your late brother is responsible for your misfortune. And it has vowed not to leave you unless you expose his killer. That was the spirit of God saying. There is power, there is power, there is power in the Lord. There is power, there is power, there is power in the Lord. There is power, there is power, there is power in the Lord. There is power, there is power, there is power in the Lord. He can he can Mama! Mama! 
Mama, where are you? Hey! Listen, my son! Hey! Welcome! Listen! Mama? Hey! Uh -huh. Kirsty has done it at last. We have a bouncing baby boy! Hey! The child I have desired all these years, Tessie has given it to me at last. Hey, thank and you, both of them are doing well. God. Thank you, my son. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh, God. Mm. I can't wait to carry my, my grandchild. I know, I know, I know. God has done it at last. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you, Jehovah. John, Daisy has done it at last. She has a bouncing baby boy. Hmm? John, where have you been? Both of you no more in the same house. Mama John has not slept in my house for three days now. And because of the new baby, I have not had time to check on him at the shop. Mm -hmm. Nelson, what are you saying? What are you saying? It, it's not what you think. John usually sleeps in his friends' houses. You can ask him. John, any problem? Huh? Oh, my son. Come, on. let's go inside. No, Mama. I, I don't want to go inside. I prefer to stay outside. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Just... Sit down here. Yeah. Sit down. Talk to me, I'm your mother. Hmm? Talk to me. Hmm? Anna. I came to tell you. Mama. Mm -hmm. Tessie killed Michael. Eh? Oh. John, what are you talking about? Hey! God. No. Your wife killed Michael. Have you gone mad? I know what I'm talking about. And I'll say it anywhere, anytime. She has to confess to her atrocities. Oh, what trouble am I in this? Mama, did you hear that? Oh. I'm sure John has gone mad. John, please. Please, not. No, 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 no. no. No, 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 I will not keep quiet this time around. And I will stop at nothing to make sure the truth is exposed. Not this time around. Mama, both of you are dancing, eh? Oh, no. Both of you are dancing. John. John, come back. Oh, God. John, come back. You are dancing, eh? God has done it for you. Both of you are dancing. John. Keep on dancing. Keep on dancing. He has done it for you. Of course. Michael is dead. Hi. Hey, what trouble am I in to a guess? Hey, 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 has he not always threatened to kill him? Why, why is John leveling such accusations against me? Why? 
I have got the love for John. I'm not taking him like my own son. I give him food. I make sure he never lacked anything in this house. Why has he decided to pay me back by tarnishing my good image? Why? Why, honey? Why? No, please, please, please. No. Oh, God. Look, it's okay. Please. Hey, God. Stop crying, okay? Please. Don't bother yourself about this. Sit down, sit down. I am very, very sure that John has started smoking Indian hemp and it has affected his brain. Please, it's okay. Meanwhile, the Igwe has invited me to the village over this issue. I'll be traveling to the village tomorrow. Help! But please don't bother yourself. It's not a problem. Why me? Honey, I said it's Why all right. Me? It's all right. Look, oh. I know I know you are innocent. You are the last person to think of anything like that. You love everybody. You worship God with all your heart. You don't mess around like other married women. You respect both the young and the old. Look, God. relax. Okay? I'm going to make sure that your name is cleared. You hear me? Look, dry your tears, okay? And take Junior to his room now that he's sleeping. Please, please. <laughs> doing here with the new baby? I have been exposed to Lady Callista. Exposed how? My emails have found out that I was responsible for the death of Michael. And how did that happen? I don't know. John, the last one of the males is responsible. My husband has even been summoned by the Igwe in respect of that. I'm finished, Lady Calista. I'm finished. No, 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 you're not finished. What is your husband's response to all this? He's on my side. Always on my side, you know. There you are. You've got nothing to worry about. Listen, go home and feed your child. And stop worrying. Leave it to me. It's me, Calista. I can handle it. Come on. All you need to do is feed me information on a day to day basis about what's going on. I'll take care of things. Let me see you. Go on. Just carry this baby up and down and worry yourself to death about nothing. Come on. Who me again? I'm here. I'm here. I'm here.
I salute you, my people. Amen. You see, we cannot resolve this issue by uh, being rowdy because it's a very crucial matter, a matter of life and death. Therefore, I suggest that we tackle it with all the maturity we can command. That is my view. Thank you, Your Highness. If we continue like this, uh, I fear that we might not arrive at any uh, anything conclusive or tangible. Your Highness, since we have norms, customs, and traditions that guide our land, I suggest that we subject the suspect to oath taking. Yes, Your Highness. Let us subject her to oath taking. If she is innocent, nothing will happen to her. Yes. But if she is guilty, Ogunza will kill her. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Your Highness, I agree with the Chair Of course. Of course. Yes. What? Igwe, my wife is a Christian and also a mother of faith in the church. Therefore, she cannot take part in any idol worship. Moreover, I do not want her position in the church to be jeopardized. <clears throat> Your Highness, the option for oath taking is banishment. In other words, if she cannot take the oath and nobody is willing to take it for her, then she will be banished from our land. But the informed nursing that if she is banished, you also will be banished. In that case, Your Highness, I am willing to take the oath on her behalf to prove her innocence. <laughs> that woman just put to bed, and I do not want anything to happen to her or to my baby. My son, are you aware of the consequences of what you are about to do? Yes, Your Highness. Are you also aware that you will die if she is responsible of the crime she's accused of? Your Highness, since there is no other way to prove her innocence, I am willing to take the oath on her behalf. Mm -hmm. And I want it done as soon as possible. You may sit down. Thank you. It's all right. It's all right. Very well then. The Imoku festival of Ogugunza is two days hence. And I, the Igwe Okacha, will not want anything whatsoever to disrupt the ceremony. So, the oath taking will take place at the village square the second day after the Imoku festival ceremony and your wife must be there before you take the oath. Claire? Yes, it will. It is settled. It's all right. Thank you very much. It's all right. <laughs> Nelson, um, uh, Nelson, I want you to examine your wife thoroughly. You may be making the greatest mistake of your life. Women cannot be trusted. Ichi Mokedi, what are you talking about? How can you even think or believe that my wife could have access to a gun, let alone kill somebody? How? Uh, I did not say that she did it, but I am only saying. My wife is a Christian mother. She doesn't mess around like other women. And what do you people have against her for crying out like what? Is it because she's soft? I, I don't understand it. Mm -hmm.
is filled with sorrow that this type of thing is happening in my family. I call you people here in the presence of my only brother, Ochudo, who had to travel all the way from Amich, my hometown, because of this case. I'm appealing to you people, let us drop this matter. Continue with this matter will only cause us more sorrows. Please, don't send me to an early grave. After all, Michael is dead. There is no need for this old digging. You are all my children. Please. Let's end this crisis here and now, please. Hmm? <coughs> Nelson. Uncle. John. Uncle. Both of you are brothers. And at the same time, my nephew. I want this case withdrawn by tomorrow. Uncle, sorry to cut you short. This matter has gone beyond that. Somebody's name is at stake here. And that person is no other than my wife. I am sorry to disappoint both of you. But I will see this matter through, even if it's the last thing I do. If you'll excuse me, I have a long journey ahead of me tomorrow. Nelson, please. Please, Nelson. Hey, John. No. Please, stop crying. The children don't know what they are getting into. Huh? Don't worry. I'll talk to them. More especially, Nelson. Please don't cry. Just allow him to go and rest. Hmm? It's alright. It's okay. Your husband back? Yes, he has returned. Ah, so you must be having a lovely evening, a lovely night. Lady just said I am going to swear to an oath to prove my innocence. But my husband opted to do it on my behalf. Oh, don't worry, everything will be alright. 
I will get a good native doctor to cover you. Nothing will happen to your husband. Lady Car, please. You have to help me. I don't want anything to happen to my husband, please. I would. I just said that. Don't worry. You go and get a good night's sleep. And give my regards to your husband. Don't worry. Good night. My good people of Omonza, yeah. I greet you. First, I want to thank all of you for your efforts and contributions to the just concluded Imoko Festival. You did very well indeed. May the gods and our ancestors bless you all. Secondly, you all know why we are here today. 
to discuss a very crucial issue. And I do assure you that as soon as the chief priest, Ezem Banefo, arrives, the proceedings will commence. Thank you. The fire which our ancestors put cannot quench in my hand. Nelson, step out. Pull off your shoes. My son, Ugugunza does not spare anybody who is guilty. Have you searched your wife thoroughly? Woman, do you have anything to say? Have you heard what she said? Yes. Are you ready to swear to this oath on her behalf? Yes, I'm ready. Nibaya kwati nye metalo nya buruo izikotebu baya o. Nimana bwive nanda ya neme ya kaina kuwoto. Thank you. Nelson Okoye of Umunza community of Umunza community do solemnly swear do solemnly swear on behalf of my wife on behalf of my wife in the name of Ogugunza and do hereby declare that if my wife is responsible for the death of my brother Michael let Ogugunza strike me dead Let Ogugunza strike me dead. Can you people see? 
My wife is innocent. She is innocent. Be quiet! If there is only seven days, if nothing happens to you, then your wife is innocent. But if she is guilty, you must die seven days from today. Nothing will happen. John, John. Four days before the oath was taken. That means she died the day she was supposed to visit the renowned native doctor that will help stop the oath from having any effect on my husband. I am finished. Oh, my husband. How I wish I knew that native doctor. I would have gone to him to find out if anything was done. Oh God, so this is how I am going to lose my husband, my beloved husband. No, no, I think I should visit the former native doctor. This is a matter of life and death. I believe he will be of help. I believe he will be of help. Yes. Yes. My husband must not die.
take your soul between an oath in the place of your greater wife. I am Ogunga. I warned him not to touch that devilish pot. But two people made him touch it and it killed him. He should have used the Bible. He was a Christian. Woman, who poisoned your husband? I don't know. All I know is that you people did something to him through that devilish pot. Um, our wife, we are concerned about your case. We shall look into the matter when, when it comes up. Meanwhile, your message to us has been confirmed. Our concern now is to assist you with the burial arrangement of your late husband, who was our brother as well. My husband will not be buried until his killers are exposed. You people will not bury him. <clears throat> our dear wife, we share your feeling. We share your grievance and sorrow. But please, let the sleeping dog lie. Let us not start apportioning blame over who is wrong or right. Yes, For now, let us join hands together to solve this immediate problem. Yes. Nelson is dead. And all we owe him as his family members and kinsmen is to speed up his burial arrangement. Yes. Because keeping him in the mortuary for a long time is of no use to anybody. Oh. Hmm? Yeah, okay. I'm pleased coming to what you said earlier about exposing his killers. Yes, we agree with you. Yes. But well, please let us finish his funeral first. Then we come into that. Please, our dear wife, let the peace reign. <laughs> I don't know. Now, informer, mm. the engine suddenly went off. It seems like the car starts to want to go home. The car doesn't want to go home. Yes, sir. Hey, driver, open the box. You check.
agony. We want to bring you home. We are sending you home. This is not your home. Eh? The pay setter. The great one who turned iron into money. Yes. Eh? This is not your place. Kezi fit we put chairs up. Eh? Okay, mono chairs over the deludu. The people in Napa name Benetti de Zagaraga. Next, the hope of the poor, the hope of our youths. This is not your house. Get up and let's go to the house. Kunia Kaina, driver, start the engine. The engine will be start. It seems that this corpse wants to disgrace us. Let us disgrace it. Yes. Nay, what do you want to do? What is the meaning of this? Women, stay clear of this. Open it. Next thing, you want to disgrace us. Open it wide. Open everything. No. We are messengers of Ogugu Nza Sarai. This cup here belongs to Ogugu Nza Oraku. Where do you people think that you are taking it to? We have been ordered to bring it to Ogugu Nza Shrine immediately. You push also come with us. No! You cannot take my husband. He was a Christian. Yes! yes. yes. Woman, yes. shut up. You also come with us. Hey. Uh, hey. Jason, don't worry. We are with you. Yes, yes we, are we are with you. Thank you, Dad. Take care of Cover him up.
Be quiet! Stop crying! Keep quiet! Ibe <laughs> The people of Umunza, I greet you all. Our visitors from the city, I greet you also. Without wasting much of your time, I want to inform you that Nelson, whose body is lying here before us, died because of the oath he took on behalf of his wife. What this simply means is that his wife, Teresa, is guilty. Is guilty of the offense she's being accused of. That is a He said you should come out. No. We are with you. We are with yes. you. Yes. Yes. No problem. We are with you. You came your brother in law, Michael, and deceived your husband into taking the oath in your state. I did not kill anybody. Yes, yes. 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 And you people say we are Christians. Yes, we are Christians. Yes, we are Christians. We are Christians. We are. Is that what you are being taught in the church? Is that what you are being taught in the church? Yeah, we do not carry. Since you are still denying, touch this stuff. I will not touch anything. I'm a Christian. No, she will not touch it. She's an Ezinne. Not yes. only Ezinne, but Ezinne and Co. Oh, of yes. course. Good mother of faith. Yes. yes. We cannot force her to touch it. There is still another way to do it. Yes. The Bible. Shut up. The Bible. Shut up. Oh, my God. 
you sent for me oh yes yes um i sympathize with you for all that has happened in your family uh, this period of time i'm also aware that you lost two of your sons nelson your first son will never be forgotten as long as he has a son I've invited you, most importantly, to tell you that I have concluded with the divisional police officer for the unconditional release of Abu Neme, your son. Huh? We all now know he is innocent. Uh, he will regain his freedom tomorrow. Hmm? Just be courageous, eh? Be of good cheer. Mm? Mm? Good. Lest I forget, two of my cabinet chiefs will accompany you tomorrow to effect the release at the police station. Mm? Okay. It's all right. Okay.
Let's go. Mama. Hey. Papa. Mama. My son, so you are alive. I'm alive, Mama. It's true. Everything is all right now. Okay. What about missing on me? Uh, that who with you? Yes. Um, Abu Nene, we found out who killed your brother. Exactly. Wait. What did you just say? We have found who killed your brother. So I did not kill Michael after all. Let's go home. You can see that Mama is tired. Let's go home. We have to go. Somebody talk to me now. Tell me how we get my car. John, who, who killed who kill my car? We will talk in the house. Well, talk to me now. Somebody is here. Talk to me now. Not, John, tell me now. Who killed my car? Let's go. Let's go. Huh? You can see that Mama is tired. No, John, John, come. John. No, we will talk in the house. Let's go to the house. Like no. John, talk to me now. Talk to me, John. Talk to me. Who killed my car? Eh? Oh, Mama, 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 don't talk to me. Who killed my girl? Who killed my girl? Tell me now, let me know. Let me know. Don't talk to me now. Who killed my girl? Oh, somebody should talk to me now. Somebody should talk to me. Chineke 